You're right. Just Cuban link tattoos and champagne. That's all we do. We just <laughs> do chill, relax, player stuff all day. Um, yeah. I guess we. What you said? It was somebody said like a lifestyle rap. <laughs> like a lifestyle rap. <laughs> music for a good couple years now probably going on like eight years you know first started out i wanted to do music videos and then i went to school for that and uh, i didn't like the courses and then after that i tried my hand at making beats but that shit is fucking hard as hell <laughs> you know what i'm saying so after that i was chilling with some football cats from uh ub and they was recording, doing music at that point in time. And they was just like, yo, get in here and record some stuff. So I was like, all right, bro, whatever. And I just kept with it. I mean, music always been a passion of mine, you know, with certain artists, you know. Uh, my mom used to actually take my certain records away from me. I used to have to sneak to get joints with the explicit lyrics and shit on that. You know what I'm saying? With my dad, he's more of a lean player. You know what I'm saying? He listens to every thing that I'm fucking listening to at this point in time. But I had to sneak to my cousin, burn CDs from him, and I go back and listen to all that stuff. Just staying focused, having a task, something physical in your hand. And then like, a lot of narratives, I don't read a lot of fiction, I read a lot of non-fiction, factual stuff like that. So that stuff helps you stay on. Like, a lot of books got a lot of things in common. It's just like staying on task with stuff like that, taking trials and errors. So it's like, it's reassurance. Cause a lot of people, you don't get to somewhere without failing. And then a lot of people give up as soon as it happens. And I could have gave up a long time ago, projects after projects after projects, but it's about sticking through it, you know? So just reading parables and stuff like that, they educate me on just sticking through it, because life is up and down, it's very volatile, you know what I'm saying? So that's what you gotta take with music. Some gonna be hot, some is not gonna be something. It's be songs I put out, I'm like, I hate that fucking song. And people are like, no, that shit's fucking great. Like these two love this fucking song. Man, I hate it so much. <laughs> but they're like, nah, man, that's like fire. I hate it though. But there be songs I'm like, yo, man, I put my soul into that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that shit's trash. <laughs> like, ah. But that's part of everything, you know what I'm saying? It's very subjective. Getting to that point of actually like sitting down and getting creative with like the music was like you told the time from time before like you focus on doing other stuff the music you good at you got that so like actually like learning to promote set up guidelines and all that like going to these other festivals passing out stuff you know what I'm saying materials merchandise getting creative with that like I think that was like the, the most humbling part in it educational part of the body, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's like business savvy, like it definitely gotta be business savvy. Cause I remember my bro also in you know, Harlem, he was like, yo bro, I'm a, uh, he work on stocks and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to get some money on that too. He like, nah, bro, you focus on music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm like, bro, I still gotta make money. But he's like, nah, I'm not saying it like that. He's saying like, whatever your craft is, or in every, aspect about it, you know what I'm saying? And like, be smart about it. So I'm glad like it took time to start getting to where we going because you learn the business about everything and being more educated and creative in general in life because you always gotta be creative. You never know what might come down that road.